Hello everyone, this is Darwell20, and welcome to episode 14 of Darwell 20s Let's Play series, where today we're going to play more with Ars Nouveau. So I've got a few things to check out, and one thing I'm very excited about, because it's actually something I wanted for another mod, and now I'm excited because I might actually have what I want for that mod, and that would be cool. I'm just saying that would be cool. So uh, let's get started. So today, uh, last episode, we started looking at the Warren Notebook here, which shows us many of the, the resources and things that we need to do to progress through Ars Nouveau. Uh, and since it's nighttime, I'm going to sleep. So one of the things we need to get going is a source of source. <laughs> I say that five times fast. So source is a material resource that you can get through many different ways in the mod. Basically, it's like concentrated magic, if you will. Um, so the way you can get it is check out the source chapter here. There's a bunch of different ways you can get it. Um, so consuming potions will generate source. Um, something, something um, nearby food, generating more for more nourishing food, right? So there's a lot of different ways uh, that you can, you can generate source, but most of them need a source link. Uh, I think one of the earliest ones that we want to get is the Argonomic source link or agronomic. Um, so and, and the way this works is anytime there's a nearby tree or crop growth, it'll generate some source. Um, so that thing generates source. And then in addition to that, we're going to want to look at a source jar. So the source jar is a way to store source and then move it around and use it for things like rituals and enchantments and glyphs and all kinds of other stuff that I guess we'll get into later on as we progress through the mod. So let's take a look at what happens. In addition to that, I got a dowsing rod, which is kind of cool. This will help me uh, scry for nearby budding amethyst uh, and magic find which will cause medical creatures to glow within 75 blocks of you. The dowsing rod has a limited number of uses. I'm interested in this because I think it might help me find one of those underground amethyst mines, which I think can be useful for some other mods. So I haven't found any amethyst in the world yet, and that's, oh my. It, does, it very much has a limited number of uses, and I'm not seeing much. What am I supposed to be seeing here? Oh my. Yes, when it said limited number of uses, it wasn't kidding. So it gave me the scrying buff and the magical find buff. So I'm curious, I guess, yeah, I was not, I was not prepared for a limited number of uses to be two, <laughs> but I'm gonna run underground here and see if, uh, if anything jumps out at me. Like I'm, I'm hoping that it's like, uh, hey, look, really obvious, there's an amethyst. Oh, hello. I think really obvious just happened. Something, something really obvious just happened. Oh my, what do we have going on here? Uh, where's my mining gadget? Am I crazy or is this like what I'm talking about when I say really obvious? <gasps> Look, block of amethyst. Woot, it worked. Oh, that is cool. You know what I have to do now? Yeah, I'll tell you what I have to do now. First, light up the area with projectiles. Look at that. Aha, uh -huh, cool. Uh, and then following that, I need to Google how amethyst works because I forget. I know there's budding amethyst and amethyst clusters and then blocks of amethyst. And and budding amethyst equals grows amethyst, right? Isn't that the gist of how? It's vanilla Minecraft. I don't know these things. And I'm assuming I can silk touch budding amethyst and bring it to my base and like grow it or something. I, I have no idea. But hey, look, we found amethyst. Nice, that was, that was cool, let me tell you guys. Very excited about that. And then like, blocks of amethyst can turn into amethyst bricks. Uh, can I like, ooh, imbuement chamber, turns them into source gem blocks, so that's neat. Uh, can I, okay, yeah, so we can totally like, somehow, some way, chop them up into amethyst shards. We can also melt them into molten amethyst, which by the way, is how we get the projectile protection modifier. So, might not be a bad idea. Um, and I'm assuming, yeah, look, multi-servo press can break it down. So there you go. If I want to get this stuff from that, 100% easy peasy, right? And then we can also pour that. So what I'm going to do is absolutely harvest. I want to be careful not to break the budding amethyst because I'm not entirely sure how that works. So if it's budding, I don't want to break it yet. I want to, I'm, I'm assuming it needs to be silk touched if I want to bring that to my base. I'm worried that if I break it, it like won't be budding anymore. But that wasn't too bad to find. And boy, was it cool with the scrying rod, right? That was neat. All right, so here's what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna come back in a minute and uh, 
and we'll get into into making some source gems so that we can get some more source so that we can progress through this mod. Cool? Be right back. All right, so let's see what this thing is all about. So imbuement chamber is how we, oh, that's so cool. Look at that. That is neat. You know, the subtle beauty of that is just like the, the model, the animation of the model, the little particle effects where it looks like it's obviously bringing in stuff. So if I pop a gem in there, how's that work? Does it just like eventually turn into one or do I actually have to supply this with source? That's the one part I didn't quite understand from reading through the, the documentation here, right? Um, yeah, imbue certain items with source to create new items. The primary way to obtain source gems, amethyst and lapis may be used to create source gems. The imbuement chamber will passively accumulate source for recipes or will draw from source jars two blocks away. There you go. Some recipes require additional items placed in pedestals within a block of the imbuement chamber. All right, got it. So passively collecting. So let's get another one of these source block duties guys and figure out what's up. So another imbuement chamber guy, yeah. Let's have two of these cooking at, a, at any given time. Now I assume that this might do something. Oh, hey, that was cool. So he's already done. Nice. Hey, that's not bad. And I'm sure we can automate this. Now that said, tick accelerating does, well, yeah, I could say tick accelerating worked there. All right, neat. So now that I've got two of these guys, I should be able to do the agronomic source link. And that is cool beans. All right, so that's easy enough. So source accumulates kind of uh, naturally and passively uh, by itself very, very slowly, or we can use source jars to kind of speed this process up, right? And I think, if I'm not mistaken, that's pretty cool. So let's do ergonomic source link. So this guy, uh, according to the book, uh, is going to um, generate source from nearby crop and tree growth. Bonus mana is generated for magical plants. Uh, source will be output from the source link to nearby jars within five blocks. Note bone mealing the crops will not grant source. So within five blocks, right? That's, that's the, that's the verbiage that I want to focus on there, right? That's the one I want to be like, okay, tell me more because this is one, two, three, four, five. So I wonder if placing a source jar on top of this counts as within five blocks. 0% full. Now, can I place one here? And you're just chilling, right? And then I'm going to harvest all these plants. Oh, hello. Yeah, that did something. Sweet. That's cool. I'll plant a little bit more corn. Cool. And then are you going to show me in some way, shape, or numerical form how much source is in your source jar, or is it just going to chill there? But that's neat. I like that. All right. That's not so bad. Now, in theory, if we can grow these crops, it says bone mealing doesn't do anything. Uh, but it didn't say anything about watering cans not doing anything. Hey, now. You weren't supposed to snag both source blocks. It's all right, it's an easy fix. So if I bone meal you, are you gonna be cool? Yeah, buddy, look at that. Nice, oh, that's neat. That's a cool way to do it, I think. Stick, stick that dude there, and it looks like he absorbs, you know, every time there's a growth tick on the, on the thing I'm watering, he absorbs energy and then transmits it to the source jar that's nice all right cool so i might want to have multiple source jars over there mostly just considering the fact that like you know we're gonna have lots more crop growth passively like standing there it looks slow but i'm gonna walk away i'm gonna come back and that jar is gonna be full right uh so let's make a few more jars so that's gonna need this many? And hopefully this also counts as within five blocks. And hopefully it'll kind of 
do something cool there. I like that. I wonder if the if that agricultural dude can also work with sugarcane growth. Because with Snad, that could be kind of cool. If it doesn't, I'm okay with that. And I'll tell you why. Because I'm going to reuse it for tree growth. And apparently growing arc... Arch... Arc... Arc... Or archwood trees? <laughs> I don't know what that... Growing those things uh, can absolutely uh, give you a lot more source. Okay? So I might want to do that and a couple more source... I want to have, like, lots of source jars, I feel like. And considering it's just wood and a little bit of gold, I'm cool with that. Right? So let's do this, and we'll just get some more source jars. So let's see if Argonomic source links feed off sugarcane growth. They don't seem to, right? Because we just had sugarcane growth there, and I didn't see any particles happening. So I'm thinking the answer is no to sugarcane. I'm thinking the answer is definitely no to sugarcane. But trees is a yes, right? So I'm going to take this guy and try him with trees. So where's my mining gadget to clear up? Gonna clear out all the existing trees here. Perfect. My goodness, my inventory is already full. Well, I haven't, in fairness, done much with the things and the stuff yet, but that's okay. I need like a place to put excess junk, is what I need. I mean, I kind of have that. You can go away for a minute. What else don't I need? I don't need that. I don't think I super need my mining gadget right now. Everything else I'll hold on to. Wow, I got a lot of wood at least. So regular tree growth should help, but then also arc wood tree growth should also be really nice. So if I were to plop down another one of these Argonomic dudes, and then it's one, two, three, four, five. So let's try these. Now this guy did have it has 0% full, so I'm wondering if it, like, you know, is just being goofy like that. Oh, look, on the top left, it tells you how full it is. All right, that's nice. So you're sitting at 15, and the others are at 0? Okay. So I assume it does, like, the nearest one it can find, but maybe there's more to it than that. We'll find out. Okay, and then I want to grow some more of these saplings. Does that sound cool? And then hopefully what will happen is this guy will be like, ooh, sapling growth. I'm going to generate loads of mana. And what I think I'll do is try to watering can that process. And there's lots of mods that, you know, force growth ticks that aren't bone meal. So there's ways that we can kind of like Oh, look at this. There's like particle effects and stuff. Is that from being above the saplings? That's neat. Let's see if I can get you to grow and how much mana you'll generate. Oh, hello. He did something there. That's kind of nice. We're going to need more water. <laughs> how about I get this tree to grow and then we'll be back and see how much we get oh some kind of tree grew while I was gone so that's kind of nice and how much mana do we get from that not bad all right I'll take it you know we'll see but at the very least I could just stick with my normal tree farm here too right uh now I don't know if just these trees nearby will we'll get it but there's other ways to get source I'm pretty sure um now before we get too deep into that I want to switch gears for a second and I want to see how many upgrades we get for a block of amethyst. Now I might need to speed this up for a little bit because I'm impatient, as per usual. So that got me one block's worth. 
of amethyst? Aren't you supposed to be molten amethyst bronze? Ew. And amethyst bronze is what? We're going to need copper. Okay. Let's uh, make this happen real quick. I'm just, you know, doing stuff here. Yoinks. Let's put one ingot of copper in there and see how much that uses of the block. So there's three gems left. And now there's two gems left. And now there should be zero gems left. So then one block and four, looks like it's gonna make 12. No, it's gonna make, yeah, 12. It should make 12 of these. And in total, I'm gonna to want 64 plus 16. Okay, so math. Math is what you're telling me. So I hope these gems have the gem tag on them. Oh good, they do. Cool. And how about you? Eh, not so much. What happened to saplings? How come saplings landed over here? And sugarcane, for that matter. Is this thing full? Or do you not know you're supposed to have saplings and sugarcane, too? Saplings. Oh, my. I'm just going to use that create additional plants tag, and we'll see if that works out. But yes, saplings now sort into there, correct? Yeah, it's beautiful. Not into miscellaneous junk. Perfect. All right, so you guys are actually doing really, like, a nice job. I like I like these, you know, source crafter dudes. That's pretty cool. Let me sleep through this night, and then we'll be ready to do more. So this thing on the top left is 28% full, right? I'm going to snag him and replace him with an empty source jar. So notice that, by the way, he started filling this guy up because this one, so that works, so that's good. And this jar has 28% full. So if I came over here and I gave this source to these guys, oh look, he's sending the source over, nice. And he's 24% full, okay. That is cool. Man, I love magic mods sometimes, they are just the best. All you gotta do to make Dyer excited is particles and more particles. <laughs> I'm very much an eye candy kind of guy. And this is eye candy, let me tell you. That is cool beans. I bet we can automate this. I bet we can automate this. I'm gonna try something here real quick. I'm gonna try something here real quick. How's that sound? Can we automate this bad boy? A little bit of laser eye automation, that would be cool. One of these days I'll remember the crafting recipes that I myself made. So give me two of these. Maybe three? That should be cool. And then I have some filters. Good, good. So I'm curious, but this might be cool. This is not in any way going to be a, temp or a permanent solution. This is gonna absolutely be a temporary solution, but I'm just kind of curious as to if this will work the way I want it to. So if I put a node here and we said, hey, from above, I would like you to extract on white. And I might need to filter this, but let's see what happens. And then on the right, we insert on white, right? If I put this in here, is he gonna extract? He doesn't seem to. So it looks like it, it looks like this guy is not accepting of that type of material. If I put this in here, he will. <gasps> Now, if I tell this guy to stock mana gems, he should pull the mana gem out of there and into the chest. Okay. Huh. 
Ah! I like this. Now, is it me or is it showing broken textures? That shouldn't really be happening. That might be a bug I need to solve. Because it shouldn't be showing that it's trying. It shouldn't. I might have fixed that already in the next version. I fixed a couple bugs like this already. I should probably test the next version. But it should not be showing this. It should be showing nothing uh, as it tries to insert. But I think I know what's causing that, and I think it's already fixed. But that's okay. It's not actually doing anything. It's just rendering that it's doing something that it shouldn't be showing. But that's okay. I, I mean, that works, right? That works. That's cool. Now that I've used up all my all my source to test that. But still... Cool, right? Am I right? I think it's cool. How are you guys doing on source? 8% full? Eh, paltry. Not amazing, but that's okay. I think my farm farm is definitely doing better. Let's find what other sources of source, I'm gonna have fun saying that, are available to me right now. Uh, so alchemical source link, mycelial source link, generates a moderate amount of source from nearby food, generating more for more nourishing food. That's kind of neat. That's kind of neat. I like that. There's also a volcanic source link. Consuming burnable items. Arcwood logs will consume, will have bonus mana with blazing arcwood generating the most. That's neat. That only needs a bucket of lava. Let me try this guy because he might be really cool. And if I can burn some of these logs and put, yeah, that would be super cool. Okay, but yeah, we're definitely generating source gems like this, which is neat. Let's get ourselves a bucket of lava. And make ourselves a volcanic source link, right? There's also the vitalic source link, which I don't really know what that is. So you will burn things but then also do something like creating lava. We'll occasionally convert stone into magma blocks and magma blocks into lava, given that these blocks exist beneath it in a three by three area. This conversion is dependent on the amount of heat it has produced over time. Okay. It'll also spawn a lava lily adjacent to give and there's nothing covering the lava. That's neat. Nice. Nearby blazing arcwood items would be burned up in exchange for a chunk of um, mana and a moderate amount of heat. Cool. Nearby blazing arcwood items. I wonder if it means it'll like burn up the nearby tree. Is that worth trying? I feel like that's worth trying, right? I mean, we can always just like throw the items on the ground, but if it can burn up the tree automatically, that would be that much cooler, in my opinion. Let me get some more smooth stone too, because I would like to see this uh, turn into lava thing that it's talking about. So let's do this. I'm gonna pop out here. I'm gonna put you on precision mode. Okay, we're gonna put down the volcanic source link and I'm gonna plop down a nice source jar for you. Now you said that you're gonna burn up arcwood items. Oh, hello. Nice. What if I throw a whole stack at you? That's nice. All right, cool. Is he eating the nearby tree, or did that tree just happen to grow over there? I think that tree just happened to grow over there. So I was kind of hoping that this would, you know, do a little better. Now, it says anything that can be consumed, right? So does that mean, like, coal? I have coal on my keep list, right? So it looks like he'll do that. Now, do you have any indication of what your heat level's at? I'm guessing no. Yeah, you don't have a UI of any sort. But we're definitely getting what I would call a healthy amount of mana for this. What about coal? That's not bad. Wow, 37%. That's a big burst. So yeah, generating source that way is definitely nice. I mean, this is nice and passive, and we will get a lot of source from this. See, we're already at 20% here from a lot of this crop growth, but... And then also there's berries, right? That's another thing we want to make, I believe. Uh, let's look at those berries. Mage bloom seeds. 
Um, a magically infused flower, mage blooms provide additional source to nearby Argonomic source links as they grow and provide a source of mage bloom fiber. Mage blooms can also be used in crafting potions of spell damage, increasing the damage of your spells. So let's make one of these. So we need an enchanting apparatus, and we need to enchant some seeds with source gems. So we already know how to make source gems, right? That's not a, not a problem for us. And we will, you know, we've got that covered. <laughs> um... I'm going to keep, like, uh, like I'm going to throw a whole stack in here. Remember, Lapis works here, too, by the way. Uh, it bugs me that that, you know, visual bug is there in my own mod, but eh, life happens. Bugs occur, and then you find them by playing with it. It's the only way it works, folks. It's the only way it works. All right, so let's put away some laser I.O. stuff. So I didn't even need the filters because the block itself filters itself, which is awesome. Um, so let's try this out. Let's get Mage Bloom Seed. So in order to make this, we need the enchanting apparatus, okay? And we can take a look at this in the book. But the gist is, um, we have to, an enchanting apparatus, place any number of arcane pedestals within three blocks with their items. Once you have filled the pedestals, use the middle item on the enchanting apparatus block. The enchanting apparatus requires an arcane core beneath it in order to work. So we need a core, we need an uh, apparatus, and we need at least four pedestals right now. Okay, so let's get this cooking. So to make the arcane core, we're going to need some arcane stone. So I definitely need more smooth stone cooked up here. And I might throw another stack in there. Shouldn't be too much of a problem. Okay, and then we need the arcane core. So let's get... I'm going to start with 24 of these and see how much more we need. I thought I had gold on me still. I must have put it away. So arcane core, right? Arcane pedestals, an enchanting apparatus. And then we want four pedestals. One, two, three, four. Okay. And it's getting dark, so let's take a nap. So now, I'm just gonna test this outside real quick because it's a nice little thing to do. So we want the core with the pedestal on top. Look how cool that is. I thought I made four of you. Am I crazy? Did I make four pedestals? Oh, I put the wrong pedestal on top. Ah, so I'm not crazy. There we go. So enchanting apparatus, cool. And then we need some seeds of any kind, but I'm going to go with wheat seeds. Okay. And then we're going to do one, two, three, four. And I think we need some source nearby, if I'm not mistaken. And I do this? No. Oh, that's cool. Look at how cool that looks. Look at how cool that looks, right? Nice, did you actually use any source? No, I don't think he needed source after all. Well, that's nice, that's cool. Now do those pedestals, can they hold more than one item? Because what I would like to do Can I throw like, because it said the source link can feed from nearby pedestals, can't it? Isn't that what it said? Uh, from surrounding pedestals, yeah. Cool. So I feel like it's lying. I don't see it eating nothing. Maybe it has to be like really nearby. Oh, I guess so. Yep, it needs to be super duper nearby. Hopper, 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 hopper. Do I have any extra hoppers? I 
bet I could hopper this stuff in and that would be cool, right? That works for me. That's kind of cool. I like that. Now clearly this is going to wind up producing more mana or source than anything else. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to have my my extra these guys over here producing for me. Okay. Um, part of me wants to create like a good you know axe. I might look into that next. But hey, we've got mage bloom seeds, which apparently generate a healthy amount of mana as well. I don't know how good this is doing, to be honest with you. Like, it's pretty paltry. I was hoping for better, especially with the whole, like, you know, archwood trees bonus, but it doesn't look all that good. So, let's replace over here. This guy, right? And uh, I'm going to watering can you. And hopefully that's a lot. All right, so good news is Mage Bloom seeds are growing pretty good, and we're getting a, what I would call, healthy amount of mana from it the bad news is you don't get more mage bloom seeds from the mage bloom itself so we have to make more of them in the enchanting pedestal which means basically boom 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 hey i need my enchanting pedestal back and i don't think this actually requires source to do the craft so that's at least the good news right and any kind of seed obviously seems to work here so and it just looks awesome and there's lots more enchanting stuff to do with this. So how cool is this mod, huh? I'm loving it. It looks amazing. So far, everything is just gorgeous. So I'm going to get more Mage Bloom Seeds between episodes here. I'm going to generate more Source. And then um, we'll come back next episode and consider doing some more, you know, more mechanics, right? Check out more stuff from uh, Ars Nouveau here. See what else is available. Hopefully I'll have this bug fixed because he's... He knows that he can't insert anything here, but I think he's drawing the particles despite the fact that there's nothing to insert. And the particle that he's drawing is an empty item stack. So I just it's a simple check to fix that. At least it's not an item dupe bug, it's just a visual bug. For now, Doll Twice sign off. Hope you guys enjoyed the episode. Uh, like I said, come back next time. More fun stuff, more magic-y type coolness. For now, take it easy.